Let's start by choosing what colors are we going to use. I used Reeves acrylic for this lesson. Titanium white, thalo blue or cobalt blue and lamb black. That's all the colors we need for this tutorial. Ok let's paint the sky, white plus a little thalo blue. Just mix it until it becomes sky blue. Just look at the reference on the video. Use a flat 1 inch bristle brush then apply it on the surface of your canvas. I used cardboard on this tutorial. But you can use either canvas or cardboard. You can use a bigger brush to finish it faster. Just blend the colors. Add small amount of water to make the blending easier. Make the colors at the top darker than lighter at the bottom. Ok let's paint the clouds. Mix blue with a little black then add more white to create a bluest grey effect. The color looks grey but when you stare at it, it has a blue tint, that's what I mean. In this tutorial we will create a cumulonimbus clouds. Maybe it's time to recall your grade school science class. Those kinds of clouds have almost triangular in shape which looks like cottons but more grayest on its base as it is about to drop the rain. Maybe you need to visualize it first before starting to paint or you may need to find some reference on Google. Ok let's start painting the grayest base color we'd mixed. You may follow what I did. Use a fine or smooth flat brush and make crisscross strokes. Do not paint everything, make some space. This is important to pre-survey the luminosity of the clouds. As you can see some parts of the sky are still visible behind the clouds. The draw the clouds base which is all grey. Add some darker grey as it is about to rain. As you observed my strokes have different directions or crisscross. Make it triangular in shape as you can see. In painting the far clouds, use the lighter grayest blue paint and brush it a little horizontally. Again don't cover everything, you need to add some space to preserve the luminosity. Just play with the colors. Add a little white for the highlights and black for the dark shade. Make sure the grayest part is under every highlight. Since clouds has no same form, you can create whatever form you want. Just make sure you don't overdo it.
Ok just making some finishing touches on the grey part before adding the highlights. In adding the highlights start by mixing grey with white. Do not paint the white right away. You need to do it by adjusting the color value from grayest then add a little white until you reach the lightest. We assumed that the sunlight comes from left so we add the highlights on the leftmost part. You may copy what I did on the video. Again do not cover everything, make some air. Add highlights on the part in which you think the sunlight touches it. It's still up to you on how you paint it. Anyway learning is a process and sometimes you can't achieve what you want at first try. Maybe a second, third, and fourth try is needed to achieve it. Just don't give up. If I did it then you could do it too. As you can see the sky still visible in the inner part of clouds and that is the trick to create the transparent effect of clouds. You may blend it until the edges become smooth. Adding some finishing touches on some part. In the most highlights part, use pure white and a small round or flat brush, you can use number 3. Then apply it in the leftmost part in a curvy way from top to bottom. Just follow what I did on the video. You need to blend the edges on the other corner. Wet your brush to thin the paint. Or you can use your hands to smudge. Use your imagination to achieve the picture you want. Just keep on adding on the highlights but don't overdo it. Make some spaces. You need to use your imagination. Thank you. 
Continue to add the half tones, this part are indirectly exposed to the sunlight. That is why it's halfly lit. Then continue to add the highlights. You may follow what I did on the video. The brush you choose is responsible for the effect it gives. I'm retouching now the highlights area to make it more solid. Just keep on painting but don't cover it all as I said. As you observed I keep on adding some highlights on clouds. I wasn't contented as I keep adding more highlights to make it more realistic. Again you may follow what I did. The way I apply the paint. And most of all you need to enjoy and extend your patience. Because sometimes you may not achieve it at first. You need to keep on trying. I am a self-thought artist and I never have a formal art teacher. I teach myself through experience.
Sometimes you need to retouch the other parts to make it look better. As I keep on retouching over and over again.
And then below the clouds I added some lighter shade. Just make the grey to a more lighter grey. And then blend it good. I add some distant mountains at the bottom. Just use the grey you use on the clouds. Ok that's all it is. It's as easy as you see. If you don't get it at first time then maybe you can do it at second, third or fourth time. Please subscribe for more videos in the future. And visit my website at www.jmleesandraw.com. Thank you for watching.